Y'all want to see sneak number four? Yes. Yeah. I just want to say this has been really thrilling. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, been thrilling. Let's give it up for the sneaks. Woo. Yeah, that's, it's been fun. Very cool. Awesome. So we all know that sound design is critical to storytelling and video. Sneak number four enables an easier workflow for this. Please welcome to the stage Justin Solomon with Project Supersonic. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Kelsey. Kelsey. Um, yeah. What's up, Max? It's great to be back at Sneaks. Really excited. And I'm working on this project, and I have uh, beautiful 4K footage of a forest. But there's no sound. And I want to bring it to life with sound. And normally, I'd have to search for the sounds, download them, import them to my project, drag them onto the timeline, and all of that just to check if they even work for me. Wouldn't it be great if I could just generate sounds for my project right in the timeline? Well, with Project Supersonic, we can now do this. I'm going to go here and type in forest ambience and hit, wait, I'm going to bring this over. Well, let me do this again, bring the, the cursor to the right place. Now let's do this. Forest ambience, and I'm going to hit generate. And now this is going to be calling our text to sound effects Gen AI model that's going to be generating audio on the fly in full 48 kilohertz sample rate. And it will, once it's finished generating, it's going to place it right in the timeline for me to audition alongside the video. Wow. And there we go. Let's have a listen. Sounds like a forest to me. Huh? All right. How easy was that? And now I feel like I'm in the forest. All right, so in my next scene, I'm working, and I have this spaceship that's taking off from another part of the forest in front of a waterfall. So I've already generated the sound of the waterfall. Let's check out what I have so far. All right, now, of course, I want to add a sound for the spaceship, but I'm kind of out of ideas. But no worries, because Project Supersonic is also an inspiration machine. I can hit Subject Selection, and it is going to recognize, give it a couple seconds to do its thing. All right. Well, sp Spaceship isn't coming up, but it recognizes the spaceship as my subject. So now I can hover over it, and when I click on the spaceship, it's going to write a prompt for me. There we go. Check it out. We get a spaceship taking off from a forest planet. Sounds good to me. Let's give it a go. I'm going to hit generate, and let's see what we get. And you can see that with this workflow, I can go straight from the objects in my video to sound effects in seconds. And give it another second to do its magic. Whoa! All right, there we go. We got our result. And not only do we get one result, all right, that's pretty spaceshipy, we get multiple variations to choose from. Okay, this sounds kind of dramatic. Let's crank up the volume and let's go to the top. Are we ready for our spaceship? All right, here we go. Sweet. We've got liftoff. So my spaceship has taken off, and now it's going to land in an alien planet uh, in right in the midst of a monster battle. And whoa. here, yeah, whoa. Hell. Uh, and here we have a real problem, because check out this scene. We got the monster growling, and then it's going to growl again, and then this other monster is going to growl back at it and flaps its wings. There's a lot going on in this scene, and if I have to add the sound for each one of these moments, get the timing, the energy just right, that's going to be a lot of work. But you know, sound designers, they often use their voice to sketch an idea, right, of how they want things to sound. So wouldn't it be neat if I could use that workflow to drive my generation? Well, with Project Supersonic, this is not sci-fi. We can do just that. So check this out. I am going to hit record, and I'm going to imitate the monster growls with my voice. All right? 
So the moment I hit this little red button, please hush, hush, everyone, because we're going to be recording. All right, here we go. All right, so. <laughs> We got the growls down, now let's see what we get back. I'm gonna type in monster growl, and I'm gonna hit generate. And it's going to be using the precise timing, dynamics, and energy of my voice to drive the generation. And so we'll give it a couple more seconds to do its magic. All right. Yeah, well, the growls, there's a lot to take in there. Those are good growls. There's a lot to take in there. Oh, there we go. We got it. And of course, we get, um, let's crank up the volume. I want to see what we got. All right, are we ready, everyone? Yes. Let's see what we get. I mean, this is, this is too much fun, so I feel like I'm on a roll, so let's just do one more. Let's add the, the, the wings flapping, the kind of the whoosh sounds. So I'm going to hit record audio, and again, we're going to record. Here we go. Hush, hush, everyone. <laughs> whoosh, whoosh. All right, and uh, I guess I'll type in whoosh. <laughs> let's hit generate. Now it's going to be doing its magic. All right, okay, and here we go. Let's check it out. All right, not too bad. Let's go and listen to what we got from the top. I love it, from a sketch to a fully generated uh, sound design in seconds. So there you have it, that's Project Supersonic. Elevate your videos with sound effects using Gen AI right in the timeline. Thank you, everyone.